Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. This is for all my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. And I'm getting the song, um, Boy, you picked the wrong time because I got company. So it's like you, it's like you were hoping for a certain situation. And like this person felt like they can come in and out. Very wishy-washy energy. They felt like they can come in and out of your life whenever they wanted to. And it's like, no. They picked the wrong time. This could be a job situation. This could be a person. Take it how it resonates, okay? But the point of the matter is, it's up to you to go ahead and have your boundaries up. It's up to you to use your discernment in this situation, okay? And I feel like you're letting some shit go. Whatever, like, no longer served you, whatever it is in your life that you felt like was bogging, bogging you, boggling you down, you know how I make up my motherfucking word, y'all. You know, whatever felt you felt bogged down by, it, you're really letting go of this, okay? So I really feel like um, there was some energy where somebody felt like they could be in and out. There was some energy where some some um, person like you could have complete plans to do something, okay? And then this person just comes in and like, oh no, the plans are destroyed. You have no time for that any longer. You're just focusing on yourself. And I'm just seeing a lot of career minded type of type of things for all of my wonderful, beautiful Scorpios. Okay, yeah, cause you're tired. You're tired. You're ready just to have this peaceful life. You understand your psychic abilities, okay? When, whenever I say psychic abilities, some of us have them strong, some of us have them, you know, it doesn't matter. But we all have that ability, right, to go ahead and tap in to our intuition and our intuitive nudges. Whenever our intuition is telling us something, it's for a motherfucking reason, okay? It's for a reason. It's for us to follow that. It's for us to listen. It's for us to be guided to exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And we always have to trust that, right? Trust it before it makes sense. Before, like, it, it's like, okay, why is spirit, why is my intuition, why is this, like, alarm going off in my head that something just doesn't seem right or something does seem right, like I need to go to, go for it? It may not make sense, but just go ahead and follow because your intuition is never going to lead you wrong. Like I was saying before, like, you may have been holding space, but it's like, you're just on, on a, um, you're, you're reconciling with yourself. You're finding yourself, you're understanding that this beautiful transformation that you're doing from working on yourself is very essential, okay? And it's helping you to understand exactly what you should be accepting, and it's also helping you to understand, like, growth. Growth, because it's like, if you look back at yourself, um, even three to four years um, from where you are now, it's, like, completely different. It's some some more structure than it was previously. There's there's, there's more than, that you realize, and you have opened up your third eye a lot more than you did previously. Like you follow your intuition. It's always been there. You've always been chosen. You've always had these intuitive nudges, but like now you know that it's meant for you to go ahead and follow that shit. Like as soon as um, spirit tells you to do something, it's, you're, you're going to do that shit way faster than you would have in the past. Okay, and then I said transformation. Like, you're definitely undergoing a transformation. I'm getting a lot of new energy here from you actually letting go of some things that no longer serve you and understanding exactly what you deserve. There's a lot of transformational energy. And this is helping your well-being. This is all for you. And it's like, it's all because of you. So it's, it's definitely like, um, you know, whenever you're thinking about um, your well-being and yourself, a lot of times you may put, put other people before you. A lot of times you may not really think about your own feelings, right? But as you are actually understanding that you have to put yourself first and take care of yourself first to make everything else be in alignment, like you have to align yourself first before you can, you know, be worrying about any other thing, then a lot of that is going to definitely help you to have this structure, to have this stability, to um, remain strong, even whenever you don't, you have these down days where you don't feel like doing shit, or you feel like that you may not be exactly where you want to be in your life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's like all divine time and it's all the way that things were supposed to happen for you. And there's all different lessons that you were supposed to learn and just continue to know that as long as you're growing, as long as you're learning those lessons and you're not doing anything wrong. Like if you feel like you're stuck and stagnant and you're, you're not growing, then you're doing something wrong. I'm going to just keep it one thousand, y'all. Okay. But if you're growing and you can see that will just turning and it may just not be as fast as you want it to just continue to remain consistent. Okay. We have empowerment. Clarity, friendship, and beauty. So I do see with this empowerment, it's like you are very much so like 
Um, you, you are somebody that is inspirational. Even if you may not see that you're inspirational, there's something that you do to help others that is very much so these, um, the others that you help are very grateful for that. Okay. And you are like a person that likes to give and because you like to give it's very much. So just like gives you a lighthearted type of loving type of energy whenever you do so. And you have um, re received a lot of clarity about a certain situation. This could be this career intuitive nudges that you received in previously that just let you know that, hey, let me go for this. And hey, no, this shit ain't for me. Okay. But I do see some people that find you very beautiful. And, and it could be outwardly. Okay. But it does not have to be. Okay. You can be beautiful inside and out. But I'm really getting an inner beauty. Okay. So there's some um, group of people that are looking at you. They see the inner beauty from within you. And because they see that inner beauty within you, they have been led to come. You see that? How they've been led to go ahead and join and have a connection with you to help you change the trajectory of your life, to help you succeed, to help you just, it's like a boost. I call it a push. You like, you know, like, um, back whenever we were getting those stimulus checks and if you still had a job and you still were like doing okay with yourself, but that was just like a push to help you to be able to save a little bit or help you to be able to, um, do something that you may have not been able to do without the extra push. But it, but it's the, but it's definitely like a push that this group of people see. They see something in you, yeah. Whether this is a job, okay. I'm not gonna say a job. I'm gonna say a career. Whether this is a life type of uh, changing type of opportunity, this is gonna be something that is more than a job. It's gonna be something that is gonna be um, help you to to succeed in, with a long term goal in in mind. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. All right, let's see. Two of Swords, that was flipped over in the desk, and the deck, and then we have the Knight of Wands. And what is this that flipped over right here on the flow, y'all? We have the Four of Swords. So there was something that you were very much so feeling stuck and stagnant about, but it's no longer. You realize that you had to go ahead and, you know, just understand that if you're feeling stuck and stagnant, then there's something that's going to have to change. If you feel like you have, um, you know, been at a certain position for too long and it's not moving and, and there's no growth uh, opportunity for growth here and you don't feel like, you know, a lot of times people say there's an opportunity for growth here when we're talking about the career spectrum. Um, but it's really not. They just say that shit to get you in the door to think that you have an opportunity to grow. But in the long run, they never was going to, it was never an opportunity for you to grow at the company or, you know, in the situation or in the, or this friendship or relationship or whatever this may be that resonates with you. But I definitely see that you are very energetic about a lot. And because you're driven and you're goal oriented, you're going to continue even the, in the times where you have indecision, these cards came up on the floor, y'all. Um, you know, you're going to continue to understand that, um, what is this queen of Pentacles in reverse? Anything that is a toxic environment, anything, like I was saying, um, before. Okay. So, cause we got the queen of pentacles in, in verse, anything that's leading, anything that's not equal reciprocation, anything that's leaving you imbalanced, anything that's leaving you to have to worry or be concerned of you feel stuck with, like I was saying in the past, that shit's got to go. It's, it's, it's definitely just got to go because you realize that you, you don't got time for that shit. You're working on yourself. You're, you're working on, um, you know, breaking generational curses and actually building six of cups. This could definitely be something that ha you have very nostalgic memories about something from your from your past. But you're seeing that very well that you have to just continue to focus on yourself. Queen of Wands here because you are very generous. You're very much so a giver. You're very business minded and you are a good person. You give good advice. You're very valuable. And like you have to sometimes see that shit within yourself. Sometimes you can um, overlook the strengths that you have. And it's very important to understand that you are very much so Page of Pentacles, a powerful manifester. You will be receiving a lot of good news. Um, I do have financial opportunities coming in for you as well. And then Nine of Pentacles, because you're consistently working on yourself, because you're consistently understanding that um, whatever you put energy into and that law of attraction type of energy, um, type of, um, you know, the way the law of attraction works and just being very grateful for, you know, where you have come from. You may not put as much respect on your own motherfucking name, but once you look back, like I was just saying four or five years ago, your life has completely changed. Okay, it has completely changed. So just know that you have to stay and remain strong and know that even though you may feel like something may be moving slow for you, continue just to know that you have to just be consistent. And as you're being consistent, it will definitely work off at the work out at the bottom of the deck. Perfect timing. 
it is perfect timing in the near future. Like I was saying, you have to let go of something. And once you let go of this and just understand that um, it's up to you to just continue to be consistent and don't stop, never give up, right? D never give up. It's going to be a complete yes. It's going to be yes for everything that you want, everything that you need, everything that you desire, everything that you deserve. Any type of financial blessings, any type of career opportunities, any type of business opportunities, any of that shit is all going to be a yes for you. That's because you remain consistent and you just getting your full energy. I don't give no fucks and just can just buckled in and worked hard on that shit and still stayed in that high po positive vibration. All right. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as the personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.